of ignition. Commit liftoff. We have liftoff. That was the longest, the most ambitious, and the most successful first test flight of any new flying machine ever. This NASA video, a tribute to Walt Cunningham, tells the story of the astronaut's career. The highlight was the Apollo 7 mission in October of 1968, the first Apollo mission to fly into space with a crew where they conducted the first test of the command and service module. At San Diego's Air and Space Museum, you can see plenty of examples of important moments in the history of air and space travel, and you can see hundreds of portraits of the men and women who made those moments happen. On this wall of air and space luminaries, including well-known names like San Diego's Wally Schirra and Krista McAuliffe, there is in the middle an empty space. This is usually where you find the portrait of Walt Cunningham. His portrait is now being displayed close to the entrance of the museum, so people see this remarkable astronaut as soon as they walk in. Walt was one of those pilots you would trust with your life anytime, anywhere. And that's the biggest compliment you can pay. San Diego Air and Space Museum President and CEO Jim Kidrick was a close friend of Walt Cunningham. We interviewed him in front of the Apollo 9 capsule. Kendrick showed us several items of memorabilia with a connection to Cunningham, this folding seat strut from Apollo 7, signed by Cunningham, and this elaborate custom-made guitar, a tribute to all the Apollo missions, signed by a lot of people associated with those missions, including Walt Cunningham. They didn't have the technology we carry in our pockets every day in our cell phone, and that is huge. So. Uh, there is an expectation that we're going to do it bigger, better, faster, okay, but let me tell you, Walt Cunningham was one of those that he set the tone for the future. The near future is the Artemis program that will bring humans back to the moon. Artemis 1 completed its mission successfully last month. Artemis 3 is expected to put people on the lunar surface in 2025, the first crewed lunar landing since Apollo 17 in 1972. The entire program built on the know-how gained in those Apollo missions of long ago. For his many accomplishments, Walt Cunningham was inducted into the International Air and Space Hall of Fame in 2011. But for people who weren't around for the Apollo missions, I asked Kidrick what else folks should know about him. He was always in good humor. He was just a, a great human being, okay, but when the mission required it, he was going to do it. Or, to put it another way, Walt Cunningham had the right stuff. John Carroll, KPBS News.